thanks for pulling up to the video um please be sure to subscribe and like this video it really does help me with the algorithm and yeah i hope you enjoy this everyday 20 minute makeup routine i'll see you at the end bye all right y'all let's get into this makeup routine so normally in the mornings i'm all about just efficiency and just trying to get as much done <laughs> as i can because i'll be sleeping in y'all so the most important step to me is always prepping my skin so i always go in with a witch hazel i do wash my face with a um with a with a cleanser and if i don't do that i'll just wash my face with water and then i have this wet and wild primer that i love it's a hydration primer so i go in with that and then afterwards i go in with the glow recipe dew drops i love this so much this is honestly what skyrocketed like my minimal lightweight makeup era in my life was using this and seeing how my skin looked and just how it felt a lot better next i'll be pairing my spf with these bronzing drops and in a way i just create my own tinted spf so i'll just do a few spritz of that and it goes on white <laughs> but it is a bit tinted and i just like the way that it sits into my skin once everything is just fully incorporated last but not least i go over with some vaseline under my eyes for extra hydration okay so that was all that i do for prep next let's get into these brows i used a brow elimination serum which i actually need a lot more of that and i just go in and i brush my brows upward and a little bit curved and i try to move as quickly as possible because it just dries so fast and then i just curve my brows that is it that is all i don't use anything to fill them in and i think it looks pretty good for myself then i go ahead and take a um, angled brush with a little bit of that tone concealer and I just go and clean up the bottom of my brows and then the middle section. That way it gives it a sculpted brow look without being too, too sculpted, I guess, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and I take one of my long time favorite brushes and just pat it. I do not spread it, I just pat it into my skin so it just covers my the black hairs that need to be taken care of. Next. I tackle my eyes now if you couldn't tell I always do my makeup brows eyes middle of my face and my lips last I don't know why that's just how it's always been so I go ahead and I use tape because I cannot line my lash for crap or do a wing liner for crap so I just do that with a regular liner and then once that's taken care of I go in with this lash glue that's also a liner that has changed the game for me <laughs> i do not have to wait for any type of eyelash lash extension glue i just go ahead and use this right here and it just makes putting on my lashes la uh, a lot faster and um it actually lasts my entire work day so if you haven't already i definitely encourage you to try a liner that is a glue as well Okay, so I did both uh, eyes already. Next, I go in with my liquid products. All I use is a concealer, and then I go in with a liquid blush. So normally, I actually have begun to just do my blush separate without putting the dots of the concealer. My thought process here is that I usually like to put on the products and then kind of like let them sit a little bit so they kind of dry, so they just stay in place. So I always do my blush first because it's kind of a little out of control if you can't already tell and i don't know i think it creates just a nice natural look when i do my blush on the bottom of my concealer instead of like on the top of it and you'll kind of see that towards the end of the video so i go in with blush and then after that 
I go ahead and blend using this brush which honestly changed my life I don't use a beauty blender anymore because like this is all that I need and I just use this brush to use the uh, spread the concealer underneath my eyes and then I also take it um, at the little bit of the top and then at the bottom of my nose because I do have a little bit of darkness there and so you can see that I also use it to cut off where the blush goes like how high the blush goes on my face as well Now, how many of y'all watching this video, how many of y'all are bronze girls? Because I was so late to the game when it came to using bronzer, but honestly, it changed it for me. So I go ahead after putting on those products, I just go ahead with my bronzer to fill in basically the blank spaces. And I focus a lot of my attention on my forehead and then on the, the bottom of my face and it just brings a little bit more life. It kind of helps incorporate the concealer and just, I don't know, that makeup, no makeup look. And then once that's done, I use this HD powder, which is just amazing. And I put it all over my face. I mattify my face. And this step with the finishing spray, I feel like is what really solidifies my makeup coming all the way together to where it doesn't look like super patchy if that makes any sense so I go ahead and I pat the powder into my skin so I'm not baking I don't wipe away any excess powder I will if I feel like there's too much on my face and it makes it look cakey and then while I go ahead and let the powder sit into my skin I will do my um, eyeshadow normally I do my eyeshadow before I put on my lashes but I'm gonna be honest I forgot when I filmed this but I always go with just a skin tone-esque color and then I use a shimmer color um, at the front to brighten up my inner corners. Now you can't, <laughs> not it breaking on me, you can't really see it that well but I do use a white eyeliner at the inner corners, I don't know why I said it like that, at the inner corners of my eyes and then I use a black eyeliner to kind of fade it out a little bit and also just add more depth into my eyes. Um, I started doing this recently and I do feel like it just opens up my eyeballs a bit more um, as you can see. And then after all of that is said and done, these are basically the finishing touches. So the liner at the bottom of my lash line. Then I go ahead in with some more blush to kind of bring it out a little bit more, but still, you know, hopefully it looks a bit more natural. And then after that, I go ahead and set my face and I do, and I line my lips. I'm still trying to figure out the best liner when it comes to my lips. This is the closest I've gotten to a liner that I really do like that goes well with just like that 90s dark lip liner and lip gloss look. That's kind of my style. I don't really wear any lip gloss or any lip tints of that nature. Um, sometimes I wear a lip tint, but it's not really my vibe, I'm going to be honest. But this is normally how my face looks and then I just fan myself to kind of get the rest of that uh, finishing spray to just melt into my skin but this is the look y'all this is how I look at the office um, like I said I try to go for a light a light beat natural lightweight um, at the end of the day everything comes together this is a little bit of a close-up as well of how my skin looks 
and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i know i have been loving makeup recently so any tips definitely leave them in the comments below all right everyone <laughs> that is it for this week's video i hope you enjoyed it and yeah i got ready in 21 minutes i was actually timing myself because i was listening to the video as i started this so this is my go-to makeup routine in the morning now, especially since I decided to start just making a little bit more of an effort before I walk into the office. And I like it. I mean, it gets me how I want to be, especially because I know I've said it before, but it is 110 plus degrees on a daily basis here in Las Vegas. And so my makeup has to be lightweight breathable on my face especially because i'm a person who doesn't like to wear full coverage foundation and makeup and all those things so i guess this would be considered like clean girl makeup maybe y'all can tell me in the comments but yeah i hope to see you guys in the next one please be sure to subscribe you know like the video if you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions in regards to my makeup and my product choices and i'll definitely be in the comments replying to you so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye